Troy here from Roadside RC. So, there's been something I've been curious about. RC drift cars. You've seen, we have a couple of videos on the channel now where we've been out driving this around. Um, pretty fun. If you guys haven't ever done true real world drive competition drift, suggest it. You should go try it. Uh, see if somebody lets you borrow one and give it a shot. One of the things that I've always been curious about though is they use these hard plastic tires, right? So typical hard plastic tires, I'm starting to gather a collection of them. You can see this is the design. So what happens if we don't use a hard plastic tire in one of these? So um, I went shopping. I did, I did cheap stuff. Cheapo rubber tire. All right, pre-mounted on the wheel. Looks like it's not glued, boo. Um, cheapo rubber tire. What happens if I put an actual rubber tire on here? It's only 2S LiPo. Um, not super powerful system does it have enough tire to, does it have enough power to spin those tires like i i don't know i don't know maybe it does maybe it doesn't maybe somewhere in the middle cheapo foam tire all right so which one of these can it still drift with like can it still drift will it drift is it better is it worse i don't know i'm kind of new to this whole drift thing and so i thought i'd give it a shot so here we'll follow along and see what happens First up, regular standard tires around just a simple C-shaped track in my garage. So obviously this is what we would expect it to look like, right? some different tires on it see what happens all right tire number two we're gonna try the foam tire I'm assuming this is gonna be somewhere in the middle one tenth foam racing tire K force racing I'll provide a link down in the bottom just to show you how cheap easy these tires were let's see what they do check it out look at that I think I kind of like the look of this car. You'll see that the wheels are a narrower offset, so the whole track width of the car is narrowed in now, which is might be a bad thing for me. We'll see. But dude, it looks cool with those black wheels on it. Look at that. Pretty fun. First test with the foam tires. Oh, that's high speed drifting. <laughs> Yes, it still will drift. It is possible. Oh my gosh, with so much more traction, as you may imagine. Wow. But it's completely possible. Check it out. It takes a lot more concentration because of the number of the amount of speed it's going. A lot less precision. Check it out, James. Check it out. The drift car with foam tires on it. What do you think? Where did foam car tires come from? Online. I bought them. It's not foam. It's it is. It's, it's foam. It's rubber. It's not. It's foam. How is that? Look at that. High speed drifting. Let's see, Hobby Park, specialized in RCB spare parts. Rubber tires. Rubber tires. Hey look, they came with nuts. So again, we will show. I'll give you a link in the description just in case you're curious. Let's see what happens. All right, 
look at that. Rubber tires installed. And hey, now I realized something. These aren't glued. So they're probably just gonna sling right off. But we're gonna at least give it a chance first. Look at that. I kind of love the fact that there is at least directional tread. They look smaller a little bit than the foam tires. A little bit bigger than the plastic. Again, even more offset in, so I don't know if I'm gonna, it looks like I still have clearance, so that's fine. Let's give it a shot. All right, first run with the rubber tires. Let's check it out. All right, so look, maybe it still drifts. In fact, it still drifts pretty good. Again, it's the super high speed drifting. It is fast. Dangerous. Alright, let's try the let's try the other direction. This way. I can't believe it's still drifting. I mean, painted concrete floor, get it. Slick surface. test we want to do very simple just how much traction do these tires provide right so we're gonna go from this line straight across the garage to this line and just time it see how long that takes just as a rough idea of the amount of traction that we're generating three two one go all right so that was a full throttle shot all right full throttle from there to this line See how fast, see how much faster it is. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, it's a lot faster. Hey, it drives on the driveway so much easier with these tires. I don't know, I kind of feel like the foam tires are stickier actually. I think the foam tires might be faster. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. I, I don't know. Why the rubber? 
Because it can do a burnout. Yes, <laughs> burnouts are fun. There is no question. So I was pleasantly surprised with how quiet and how, I mean, these things have a ton of traction. I wonder if we found like a really hard foam, if that might be kind of fun. I think the rubber is good. Now, I'll be honest though, like if I'm going to be drifting with a whole bunch of other people, uh, I want the standard drift tires because I mean, you can get some angle, you get the control, you get all the fun of like the standard drift tire. You get those crazy sideways angles and stuff and you don't really need to be going that fast. But if I'm outside where these, these plastic tires have actually been driven outside some and you can see they're just getting destroyed. They don't, they don't do very good outside. Um, all of this traction, probably not good outside either, but hey, it's fun. So, um, I don't know, which one would you guys run? What would you do? Uh, which one of those is the most entertaining? What do you think? Um, if you had a, if you have a drift car, give me your thoughts. If you think you want to get into one, give me your thoughts. Well, I'm just kind of curious. We did this just for the heck of it, just to see what would happen. Um, I was curious. Plus, I believe we're going to be able to use these foam tires on Logan's Tamiya and uh, maybe help it do a little bit faster speed runs. So, it wasn't really wasted money. But, um, anyway, hope that was enjoyable. Bye.